Let's move on to the next question. Function g and f, f and g are defined by these two equations. Okay, now part one, we have to find the values of k for which the equation this has two equal roots. Okay, whenever we have equal roots, it means we have b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. But first, let's find that and that. So in this one, we have f g of x. So let's find what is that equation or what is that expression? That will be f is 4x, x is now g of x, that will be 9 over 2 minus x minus 2k e is equal to the value of x. Now we would like to uh, simplify this, so we have to multiply by the denominator here, so multiply every one by 2 minus x because we want to eliminate the, the value at the bottom. That will become 36 minus 2k times 2 minus x and n equal to x times 2 minus x. So simplify, that will be 36 minus uh, 4k plus 2kx equal to 2x minus x squared. Let's send everything to, to one side, you will have x squared, right? And you will have minus 2x plus 2kx, then we have plus 36 minus 4k equal to 0. Simplify, that will be x squared. And here I can have what? I can have factorize the value of x outside. We have x both here. I can have plus 2k minus 2 x outside and then plus 36 minus 4k. Okay, so I want you guys to understand what happened here because it might confuse some people. So if you look at this, we have minus 2x plus 2kx. Now x and x are common. I can factorize x outside, so you have minus 2 plus 2k, which is the same as saying 2k minus 2. Okay, this is here. Now this is the value of 1 here. That will be B and that will be C. So because they have two equal roots, I can say B squared minus 4AC have to be 0. B squared is 2K minus 2 squared minus 4 times A and times C have to be 0. So now we can simplify one by one to see what happens. That will be 4K squared minus 2 times 2 times 2, that should be 8k and plus 4 minus, so what is 4 times 36? That will be 144 plus 16k equal to 0. Okay, great. Now we will have to uh, try to simplify this one by one. We have 4k squared minus 8 plus 16 should be plus 8k. And here we have plus 4, that should be minus 140 equal to 0. Now, as we can see, we have 4 here, 8 here, and 14. So we can try to divide by, by 4 and see what happens. That will become k squared. That will be 2k minus 35 is 0. So now we have a quadratic equation. We can solve one by one. I mean by factorization or by using your formula. So that will be k times k. 35 is 7 times 5. To get plus 2, we have to have plus 7 minus k can be minus 7, k can be the value of 5. That will be the two possible values of k for which f g of x equal to x has two equal roots. Now part 2, determine the roots of the equation this for the values of k you found in part 1. Okay, so let's find the values of x. Now, when k is equal to minus 7, for example, I will have my equation over here, right? So let me write this down. That will be x squared minus 2x. So let me write this one down. It's easier to work with. So plus 2k here, minus 2. That will be x here plus 36 minus 4k. Now when the value of k is equal to 7, what happens? That will be x squared. We have 2 times minus 7 minus 2, that should be minus 16x, 36 minus 4, minus 7, that should be 64 equal to 0. Now we can factorize, obviously, 
that will be x times x, that will be 8 times 8. To get 16, we have to have minus 8 minus 8. So x equal to the value of 8. That is for the first case scenario. Now for the other case where k is equal to 5, you will have x squared, 2 times 5 minus 2, right, for this one, that will be plus 8. And we have 36 minus 4 times 5, that should be 16. Okay, now we can try to factorize. 16 will be 4 times 4. We need plus 8, that will be plus 4 plus 4. So x will be the value of minus 4. Okay, so these are the solutions to that equation for each value of k.